They say the only difference between a man and a boy is his taste for good whiskey and the price of his toys. I've known all along now that I'd never fit in. Backyard get together with their tawny canteen. I like living in an honest society, a society where I can turn around and trust whoever I'm with. And Hell's Angels is the only place I've seen it. We live amongst our own law. We don't give a f we don't care about society, you know what I'm saying? We don't care about nobody but ourselves. They ain't a man alive, but one time or another was wishing he was a hell's angel. I don't care whether he's a lawyer, judge, preacher, or what. Somewhere along the line, he's always wanted to be a hell's angel. We discovered that this movie started with a hell's angel by the name of Sandy Alexander, and we went back east to meet him. But to see Sandy, who's president of the club's New York City chapter, you have to meet a Manhattan that isn't exactly skyscrapers in Park Avenue. Sandy's New York is on the edge of the Bowery, 3rd Street between 1st and 2nd Avenues. It's an old immigrant neighborhood where Sandy says a lot of working class people still live. Here, right where all the countries are totally against the United States, but here are all the little people, not, you know, statuses like the, the presidents and the legislature and all that which hate us, but the little people, right, all want to be Hell's Angels. And Hell's Angels are American, and Hell's Angels are our way of life. American way of life. There's always one youngster in every class that is really a hell's angel. He uh, he's different from the rest. He he's a little rowdier. He's a little more aggressive. He's a uh, a little more honest, and he's a little harder to convince. He's a little harder to cram bullshit down his throat. And as he gets older, he gets harder and harder to cram bullshit down his throat. And. Uh, he comes and sees me and my friends and finds out that uh, that's where he belongs. I think I got a Marines in 66, you know, I uh, started hanging out with uh, guys in the Bronx that rode. And uh, I guess right out of Marines, I guess I was just ready for a brotherhood trip. You know what I'm saying? Because Marine Corps, you know, teaches about brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? They brought me down here, they introduced me to Sandy, I became his prospect. I prospected him for him, Alien Nomads. And the night, the night he got shot, I was a prospect. And I, and I went for the guy who had the gun, and I got voted the next day, you know? That's another subject that always pops up when people start talking about the Hells Angels. Violence, the no bullshit, take care of business kind of violence. From what we've seen, the brothers don't go looking for trouble, but they do have what you might call a reputation, and it attracts more than just the law's attention. It seems that somebody always wants to test themselves against the club. Most learn real fast that they should have minded their own business. You know, people don't realize it about us is that when we fight somebody, when we get along with somebody, we hurt them. You know, we just ain't street fighters. We're above that. We must devise safeguards for the sacred identity of each and every American to protect our freedom. Throughout the time we've worked on this movie, people have asked us what the Hell's Angels are really like. We tell them that one thing is for sure. There are as many answers to that as there are Hell's Angels. We have a high code of morals, right, among ourselves. I mean, you know, like, uh, and total respect for one another. Me and another Hell's Angel stand up 100 people because I know that man's there. Maybe we'll get killed. But you know what? We're going down fighting. You know what? Our man, all Hell's Angels are men. You know what? There just ain't many, there just ain't many of that running around. We have the true form of what America is about. We're it as far as we're concerned. We are the elite <laughs> of the elite. I do not, I have no trade whatsoever. Except a hell of a I guess that'd be a trade. Come on, Albert, we know you're a rough. But I had no trade, you know? And uh, <laughs> therefore, I will be in jail sooner or later, one way or another. That takes a lot of people that, you know what, that need us. I mean, people that, people we look out for, Block right here for us. Right 
Italian. He told me, how long you live with 24 years. But the head angel, the head angel is bother you? He don't bother me. Why your name? Why your name? Juan E. Guzman. Okay, sign and sign my name. It's okay. He tried to get the name of the whole Spanish people over here about the head angels he bothered me. But the nobody can sign and say something different because the head angel, he help every, the Spanish people. They help. Because somebody gonna try to rob and uh, call the head angel, the head angel will hit it right away. Little tiger wants to go for a ride. Come on. For a ride, Bert? Yeah. Wanna go on the bike? Oh, he knows how to do it. Come and give it gas, bro. Let's see if he knows how to throw it. I'll be scooping with you. If I was a Billy's father, I think it's uh, you know, a bunch of screwballs. <laughs> but being Billy's father, I can't think that way. But, however, as uh, uh, much as they look like they uh, robbed uh, for no good, they, they can do more good than harm. There's no crime to be committed around here, which is good. What is that? They uh, demand a lot of respect. Hey, Bert! They're all on their own. You know what I mean? If I was, you know, that's what I think. But I mean, but uh, I don't like to say nothing because I feel that I'm uh, being partial because I have a son. One thing I like about them, none of them are on dope, you know? You know, I treat them, they're just big babies. You know, that's the way I treat them. And, and they just, that's, uh, they're nice guys, but they, they can be a tough bunch of bastards, so don't get me wrong. The hell do they think they are here? Yesterday they were going like hell with fireworks, nobody yeah. came over here to do anything. Fireworks uh, is going all over, all over New York City. Well, I'm sorry. Not only on East 30. They just came over the radio, it's illegal now. Uh, it's been illegal for how many No, 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 now it's a real arrest. Oh. This is a new one today, by the mayor order. Well, I guarantee it, you ain't gonna run nothing over here, buddy. Because you'll go to jail for it. All right, everything's over with, right? No, it's not over yet. Every goddamn time they do this. The cop wants to be a friend of theirs. I'll be out this nonsense. Get the reporters down here. Let's see, Inspector. I got Roger. Right. Jack White. Good. You look good, sir. How's it going? Good. Uh, good. Some complaints on your uh, festivity. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, that's right. I saw the independent thing. <laughs> yeah, this one was uh, complaining about that the barbecue was going to be up front next to the, the smoke go through his window. He's allergic to the smoke. So we got. So they're going to keep the uh, barbecue in the back. And uh, the window. The more harm than the door in the back. I want to see. Come in. Just come over here, sir. Yeah. Tell this guy I'll have a heart attack, you know. Seriously. Where's there's an old guy, you know? Last year, they had this thing over here again. And then over here, the smoke came in here. And then I had to call the fire gun alarm, and then I was laying unconscious on the floor. And they had, yeah. Then they had to break into my door, and I had to get two new locks for $50, which somebody gave me back. I am a little Oh, he's not yeah. Yeah. Was it? Oh, right. You guys got my ring on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a, there were Irish wedding rings, like you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, centuries ago. Over there talking to them, in, in smoking a cigarette in his uniform. He's one of them. In his uniform and on the street. This is something okay. new. Oh, oh, yeah, the the skinheads. Yeah. Yeah, and they and they started in. There was a busload of people from Ulster that oh, came yeah, down. Well, they don't do anything. They just yeah. hang around. They shave their heads, but now the hair's starting to grow. So now they wear the trousers like up like this and wear leather jackets. Yeah, look, so. look, all right, look, I'm just telling you, if something happens to me, these are the people that are responsible. I'll make sure of that. Now, this is going to be removed right now. This year. You understand? And we're going to take that on the back. They're going to take that down and remove it to the back. Okay, Mr. Good. All right. All right, Sandy, take care. The Hells Angels have quite a mixed reputation, with a lot of people seeing them as racists. We asked Sandy if this was true of the club. Some of us are prejudiced, you know, but myself, like, I grew up with a lot of black people, you know, but I believe deeply 
that you judge a man by his behavior, not his color. The new niggas of the world are the bike riders. They're getting all the tickets and all the harassment. Hey, that's fact. We are the we are the minority race. Yeah. Uh, only blacks can realize what I'm talking about. You know, uh, you say uh, a nigger is a nigger. A nigger to me is what people consider the lowest thing on earth. That's what people look at you as. A nigger. We look at a nigger. Low down, no good dog. But look at this. This is like that. And for real, even niggers look at us like that. If they would spend as much time and as much energy at, plain, at being a plain, uh, ordinary black as they spend time being uh, a nigger, people would be more ready to accept them. Have you ever noticed all our clubhouses are right in the, in the darker section of town? Have you noticed that? Does that seem strange? I mean, really, you think about it. I don't know of any clubhouse anywhere. This is an SS patch. It's an original one. It was a gift from a brother. And it's got a lot of bearing. It was a gift. You know, what it meant at the time, it was the, the elite of its core. No way can I see us relating to what happened in, in Germany uh, during the Second World War. You know, you say we're fascistic, we're uh, uh, anti-Semitic or whatever. Well, uh, I guess I'm the proof that we ain't. You know, because uh, I'm Jewish and I sure ain't a fascist and I sure ain't anti-Semitic because I don't hate myself, you know? This is a dedication to my bosom friends, my buddies, my brothers, or whatever. The Hell's Angels. Do your thing. Baby, do your thing. Do your thing. Baby, do your thing. And if it feels good, do it. Do your thing. You feel like you want to holler to the top of your voice? 